About the fate of Officer Geronimo Yanez. He's on trial in the shooting death of Philando Castile. Jurors will hear closing arguments tomorrow and then get the case. Care 11's Lauren Lemanchek looks at the key factors as jurors prepare to weigh their options. Make up of the jury. Officer Geronimo Yanez, seen leaving court, should know this week if he's the first police officer in Minnesota history to be convicted of killing a citizen in the line of duty. Will jurors believe he feared for his life when he shot and killed Philando Castile during a traffic stop last summer? I think this is a very close case. Noted attorney Doug Kelly's been following the case. In his eyes, it all comes down to two key factors. I would be relying on that dash cam video a lot. That dash cam video shown on day one details how quickly this unfolded. Castile says, I do have to tell you I have a firearm on me. Yanez, okay, don't reach for it now. Castile, I was reaching. Then he's interrupted by Yanez, who yells, don't pull it out before firing seven shots. Prosecutors will point out. Why didn't you ask him to put his hands on the steering wheel, et cetera, et cetera, and you go through all those acts of negligence. For the defense, Kelly says it hinges on, did jurors believe Yanez when he testified, I was scared to death, I thought I was going to die, I saw my family pop into my head. If they believed his testimony on Friday, uh, that would militate in favor of, a, of an acquittal. If they did not believe him, um, then I think he's in deep trouble. Nationally, it's incredibly rare for jurors to convict a police officer of manslaughter. I think it's very hard to convict a police officer because we expect them to protect us in society. However, in the recent number of shootings we've had in the last several years, I, I think there's a a difference that has popped up. Jurors will have to weigh conflicting evidence on whether Yanez actually saw Castile's gun and conflicting opinions by use of force experts. Kelly says if they can't make up their mind, our legal system says ties go to the defendant. Rena. All right, thank you, Lauren. Also